Hi everyone, and welcome back. Um, in this lesson, we're gonna look at 9.4 matrices. So a lot of times in math, we may have numbers or data that's disorganized and we like to put things in order. And one way to do that, an efficient way to display that is uh, by using a matrix. And a matrix is a rectangular array of real numbers, symbols, or expressions. Um, basically, if you've ever used like Microsoft Excel and you've made a table on there, that table is just a representation of what a matrix is, okay? It's an array of numbers. You can also use symbols or expressions. And an array is just a, a systematic arrangement of numbers or symbols in rows and columns, okay? So think of a table. Um, here's a real life example right here of a table that you could see. Um, the matrix displays the responses from the survey of 500 students at UCF regarding an increase in their student fees. Okay, so the table's made up of rows, um, either in favor or opposed, and then the columns are broken down into the um, different categories of students. So freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors, okay? Um, ideally, we represent a matrix by its dimensions. Um, and the dimensions are the number of rows times the number of columns. So we've got two rows here, and then we have one, two, three, four columns. So we would call this a two by four matrix, okay? When we um, write the matrix though, mathematically, we would put the elements or each of the entries in brackets like this. So if I was to create a matrix that represented that table there, I would put an open bracket and then I would put the numbers um, inside, okay, and line them up by column. So it would look something like this. So you're going to see tables that are arranged in the form of a matrix. And a matrix is just a table. Um, when you have a matrix that has the same number of rows and the same number of columns, it's known as a square matrix. Um, you know, when you think about a square, it's got all equals or congruent sides. So here, this matrix has two rows and two columns. So we would call that a two by two matrix. And here we have three rows and three columns. So that's a three by three matrix. So since the... Um, rows and columns are the same, you can't really confuse uh, the dimensions. However, you wanna be careful when you name a matrix, you always name it or identify it by the number of rows and then the number of columns, okay? So right here, like we said, that's a two by four matrix. It's because there's two rows and four columns. So it's always row by column. And if you just remember, um, there's a soda, that they used to sell at Publix and also when I was a kid, it was called, called RC Cola. And just remember RC Cola, it's gotta be row and then column. Okay, so here we've got two rows and four columns. So it's a two by four matrix. Um, two matrices are equal if and only if they have the same number of elements in the same relative positions. So here, these two matrices, A and B, they're equal because they have, they're both two by twos. And they have identical entries. Um, as you can see here, that five in this, is in the same spot. It's in the first row, second column as this five. And this seven is in the second row, first column, just as that one is. So that would tell us then that those two have to be equal, and these two entries have to be equal. So if we're trying to determine x and y, we could easily see that x equals two and y equals negative one because both of those matrices are equal to each other. Adding and subtracting matrices is pretty easy. Um, there's one rule, they have to have the same dimensions. So in other words, the same number of rows and same number of columns. So I could add um, these matrices together because they're both two by twos. I couldn't add, for example, this matrix and this matrix because it's a two by two and a three by three. So they will not add together, okay? 
okay? Um, so all you do is you add the corresponding elements of the two matrices. So if you kind of color code, we have the four and the one are in the same of the same spots in the matrix, the six and the eight, the three and the seven, and the negative three and the zero. So I'm just gonna add those together. So the final answer matrix, we would add four plus one, six plus eight, three plus seven, and negative three plus zero. And then I'm just gonna simplify and you would end up with the following. And that's your answer matrix. Um, right now would be a good time to pause the video and to answer the check your understanding question below, which is an application of matrices. Okay, subtraction is very similar, except that you are going to subtract. Um, and you need to be really careful when you're subtracting because sometimes we need to change the signs. Again, the rule is the same as with addition, that both matrices have to have the same dimensions to add or subtract them. So here we're going to now be subtracting, um, and it tells me A minus B. So I'm going to take each of my corresponding elements. So I'm gonna do three minus two, and then I'm going to do six minus negative four, and then five minus eight, and negative one minus negative three. And that's going to give me my answer matrix, and I would get the following. Now multiplying um, is a little interesting. When you're multiplying by a real number, which we just call a scalar, um, you, all you do is multiply each entry in the matrix by that number. So for instance, if I was looking, if I was given matrix A and I was asked to find three times A, all that means is take each of the entries and multiply them by three. So three A would just be three times one, three times four, three times negative three, and three times five and you would get the following result. Okay, and that is your answer matrix. So this is a good time to pause the video and try the next problem on your own. And remember, if you encounter any questions, you're always welcome to ask um, in class or email me. Okay, so when we have matrices that we want to multiply together, um, it's not as easy as adding and subtracting matrices. In fact, the rules are different with the dimensions. So in order to multiply matrices together, that's only possible when the number of columns of the first matrix is the same as the number of rows of the second matrix. So what I mean by that is, suppose matrix A is a three by four matrix. And suppose matrix B is a four by three matrix. If I want to multiply those together, the number of columns in the first matrix have to be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. So those two numbers, if you just write the dimensions next to each other and check them, those two um, have to be the same. The number of columns of the first matrix have to equal the number of rows of the second matrix then I'm allowed to multiply the two matrices together, okay? So you'd be finding A times B, or we just write AB, okay? We know that in mathematics, you don't need to put the multiplication symbol. Um, it's just implied, okay? I do wanna make an important note though. Um, addition and subtraction, uh, sorry, addition of matrices is commutative. Um, as you know, with adding any two numbers, right? You can add it in any order you want. And typically multiplication is also commutative, 
but not with matrices necessarily, only in special cases. So if I multiply A times B, it does not necessarily give me the same answer as B times A. Okay, there are special cases where that can happen, but it's not always true, as in when you're always adding numbers, you can always um, reverse the order and still get the same answer, okay, but not with matrices. So how do I multiply? What you're going to do is you're going to first look at the, um, in the first matrix, you're gonna look at the row. So you've got a three and a one, okay? And you're gonna multiply the three and one by the column of the second matrix, five and two. So you're gonna multiply three times five, and then you're gonna add that and multiply by one times two. Okay, now I'm gonna stick with the three and one, and now I'm gonna shift down and I'm gonna do the same thing to the negative one and eight. I'm gonna have three times negative one, and then I'm gonna do um, one times eight. And then I'm gonna shift this down and I'm gonna do three times one, sorry, three times three, and then one times zero, okay? Now I finished with this row, so now I'm gonna come down here to the four and two, and I'm gonna start over again. You're gonna multiply the four and the two, by the five and the two. So you're gonna do four times five plus two times two. And then I'm gonna shift this down and I'm gonna do four times negative one and then two times eight. And then I'm gonna shift this down and I'm gonna do four times three and two times zero. And this is giving me the product. So what I need to do now is I need to simplify. Okay, so I know this is gonna be 15 plus two. And then I'm gonna have negative three plus eight and nine plus zero. And on the bottom row, I'm gonna have 20 plus four, negative four plus 16 and 12 plus zero. And then if I simplify that completely, 15 plus two gives me 17, negative three plus eight is five, nine plus zero is nine, 20 plus four, negative four plus 16, and 12 plus zero. And that's my product, or my answer, ma answer matrix, A times B. Now, um, you might wonder, how did I, how did I end up with a two by three matrix, right? This is two by three. But I started out with a two by two and a two by three. So there's an easy way to tell, okay? Matrix A is two by two. Matrix B is two rows, three columns. And remember, we need to check if we can multiply them. And I can multiply them because the number of columns in the first matrix equals the number of rows in the second matrix. So my answer matrix will be a, the, the outer numbers. It'll be a two by three. So two rows, three columns. Okay, so for example, um, in number two, I have in matrix A, it's a three by two. And matrix B is two by one. Okay, I can multiply these together because the number of columns of the first matrix equal the number of rows of the second matrix. And my answer will be a three by one. So let's see how that comes out. So that, that's gonna be a matrix that's got literally three rows, one column. So it's just gonna be three numbers up and down. Okay, so let's see how we would do A times B here. So I'm gonna start out with this row and then multiply it by those numbers. 
And since there's only one set of numbers here, I'm just gonna keep shifting down each time. So I'm gonna do one times two plus zero times negative three. Okay, and I'm already done. Now I go to this row and I'm gonna do four times two and negative two times negative three. And then I'm gonna shift down one last time. I'm gonna do negative one times three, uh, sorry, negative one times two and three times negative three. Okay, so if I simplify that, I would get two plus zero, eight plus six, and negative two plus negative nine. And you end up with two, 14, and negative 11. And that's your final answer. And as you can see, it's a three by one uh, answer matrix. Here you can pause the video um, and you can attempt to uh, practice. First of all, um, in this, these three problems, you have a pair of matrices in each. You need to determine, first of all, whether you can multiply the matrices together. So these are just yes or no. And then you can practice multiplying um, matrices in four and five. Okay, um, I will give you the answer for number four and five. So number four, um, this way you can check your answers. You should end up with uh, the matrix that goes like this. So it's 24, 34, 24, 34. Um, and in matrix uh, five, you should end up with a three by three. And um, this way you can check your answers. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, you can email me or you and ask in class. Hope you all enjoyed and have a great rest of your day.